That's another one. Cool. Okay. Right. Yep. All right, here we go. One more launch to about 2,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. How are the brakes? Do they feel strong? They feel pretty um, powerful? They're by far the most powerful brakes I've ever driven on a truck. Nice. Well, that's so, without, without a doubt, they have a car-like performance. So, um... That's a good thing. That makes you feel a lot more confident about yeah, getting, doing aggressive driving. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think they, they really didn't have much of a choice, uh, especially with the automatics. You get, you get no engine braking. Um, you can set the automatics up for exhaust brakes. Um, but <clears throat> in all respect to the vehicle, uh, you should do some modifications to your automatic transmission if you're going to be setting it up with an exhaust brake. Um, line pressure is important. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, uh, I wouldn't have guessed that. Line pressure is important, and they do have um, modules these days that can actually electronically control the torque converter lockup. Uh, this vehicle is set up to lock up somewhere around 50 miles per hour and disengage at about 45. Uh, engine's turning at about 1250, 1300 RPM uh -huh. when it disengages. So, um, could we do a, um, sorry to interrupt you, but could we do a windows up takeoff so I can get the engine sound? That'll be that'll be really fun comparing that to the. recording? Yeah, I am. All right, well we're going up a good grade here. We'll go up to the top and. Uh... All right. Yeah, that'll be really fun to record because we can we can t we can look at it A versus B when you get okay. the new exhaust. That'll be awesome. And then maybe we could do one out of cap. Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll stand out there and. Windows are up. It's a comfortable truck. Plenty of room. Seats are seats are very comfortable. I like this. Uh, I like this hand rest thing in the middle. Well, when I was out test driving. <clears throat> Cummins turbo diesels. Uh, I had test driven the second generation as well. And when Daimler purchased Chrysler, uh, they really wanted to make a big impression with this truck. And they really did. Uh, you can feel it, the brakes, the steering is significant. Uh, the difference between the second gen and the third gen steering is is night and day. What gen is this? This is the third gen. <clears throat> um, and again, like I said, this was this was basically the product of Daimler, Chrysler uh, merging. So um, Daimler really brought a lot of their technology on uh, chassis and steering and brakes. Huh. And uh, the, just their tuning, their engineers really left a mark on this truck. That's interesting. I didn't put that together that that's when Daimler and uh you know, and, and uh, Chrysler merged. It was in 2003, 2004, something well, like that. It does look like we got both tires going. Uh -huh, yeah, we can. We left our mark. I like it. All right. Okay. Hold on. One second.